We have some huge news, massive news from the world of social media. Yesterday, Twitter started testing a brand new feature to let some users post tweets with 280 character limits, which is twice the amount that's currently allowed. Yeah, because that was the big problem with Twitter. <laughs> the angry, unhinged rants from the president simply weren't long enough. <laughs> um, when he... When he heard about this, Ted Cruz said, 280 characters, big deal. Let me know when you can like a porn video on Twitter without the rest of the world knowing about it. <laughs> um, 280 characters. Can you imagine 280 characters, or, as Eddie Murphy calls it, one movie? <laughs> In political news, Alabama Senate candidate Luther Strange lost in a special Republican runoff election yesterday. Now, Luther Strange had been heavily endorsed by Donald Trump, particularly on Twitter. So, of course, now that he lost, Trump has deleted all of those tweets. I mean, <laughs> Trump, Trump hasn't dumped anyone that far since his last wife. <laughs> and his last FBI director, and his last chief of staff, his last communications director and his daughter, <laughs> Tiffany. Um, now, if Trump deleting those tweets wasn't embarrassing enough, Luther Strange lost to a crazy populist candidate who actually pulled out a pistol on stage at his campaign rally earlier this week. Here's the guy that he lost to. Now, <laughs> technically, it's still not clear if Luther Strange lost to that guy or just surrendered to him. I concede! I, here, take my wallet! Um, <laughs> but it's... It's all been very confusing, so let me sum up this Alabama Republican runner for you, OK? So... Trump, the crazy populist guy, didn't back the crazy populist guy. Instead, he backed Strange. I know, Strange. But when crazy Trump Strange, Trump went crazy, went back on his backing, deleting all the crazy Trump Strange tweets. Basically, this Strange story is so strange, it's crazy. In fact, it trumps all of the crazy stuff that happened on Stranger Things. I hope that clears everything up. <laughs> now... <laughs> moving on. Some odd news out of the White House. It was revealed that Donald Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor, Jared Kushner, apparently checked the wrong box on his voter registration form in New York and is registered as a female voter. <laughs> Which means we have a guy making important decisions in the White House who filled out a form and thought sex was a trick question. <laughs> He's like, nah, you're not fooling me. I like ladies. <laughs> uh, Jared Kushner... He registered to vote as a woman. In fact, he was so convincing, the White House tried to take away his access to birth control. <laughs> um, now, wait a minute. On Monday, it came out that Jared Kushner used private email for his White House job. Today, we learn he's registered in New York as a woman. Do you guys realise what this means? Jared Kushner is Hillary Clinton. <laughs> I would kind of love it. <laughs> Imagine if he just arrived on stage and surprise! <laughs> um, and finally tonight, is everyone familiar with the company Dyson? Yeah. You know, they make vacuums and fans. Well, they just announced that they're now developing an electric car. Yes. yes, an appliance company developing an electric car because who hasn't dried their hands in an airport bathroom and thought, wow, <laughs> if only I could drive one of these, this would be <laughs> amazing. Uh, Dyson is investing more than $2 billion to develop the car, but I'm sorry to break it to you, Dyson. You're actually not the first vacuum cleaner company to invent a mode of transportation. That would be the Roomba. <laughs>